With Gmod 2 being announced via Twitter meme, it led me down a rabbit hole of thought. What the hell is Gmod? What makes it fun? And I think the answer to that is freedom. There's something exhilarating about spawning into a wide open grass field and just doing whatever the hell you want. Luckily, we don't have to wait until Gmod 2 to experience such a thing in Source 2 VR. As you can see, I'm playing as Gordon Freeman right now. Well, you can kind of see. It's, it's his gloves. T take my word for it. I'm Gordon Freeman, and I can spawn whatever I want. This is a relatively simple sandbox map made by CJ Beans on the Half-Life Alex Modding Hub Discord. I highly recommend you go to that Discord if you're looking for early maps, it's the place to be. And as it stands, this map can only spawn a handful of items. There's a shooting range, Noam Chomsky is hiding somewhere. Then I thought, what would Gordon do? So I spawned a crowbar. Then I spawned a lot of crowbars, and tried to swim through them. Then I built a throne for my crowbar, which unlike Gmod actually requires a slight amount of physical labor when you're doing it in virtual reality. And then I drank vodka and blew up that throne in an attempt to break the map. What's the point of sandbox maps if you don't try to break the map repeatedly over and over again? It was fun. Genuinely. Fun. And honestly, it's not like there's an insane amount of content here. Something as simple as an open environment and the ability to spawn a near unlimited amount of random objects is just a good time. And when you add NPCs into the mix, like on Sandbox by Dinosaur, that fun is multiplied exponentially. These maps are available for download on the Discord if you want to try this sandbox goodness out for yourself. I know you'll have fun with them, but that's half the excitement. What's insane to think about is that not only is Gmod 2 kind of confirmed, but these maps are going to keep coming. I know CJ Beans and Dinosaur are both updating their sandbox maps consistently, and even if they weren't, well, we all know that more are coming. This is Source 2 for Christ's sake. I mean, I'm honestly just having fun walking around environments and touching stuff. <laughs> if I could give a message to the uh, aspiring mod creators out there, even though I know my message means absolutely nothing to you, don't get stressed out. Just make environments and put some props down and make the people find a Noam Chomsky somewhere. It's really interesting to think that as you push this level of technology forward, as you go from video games to virtual reality, the more mundane things become way more interesting and fun. As I play these maps, as I'm Gordon Freeman running around with my crowbars, pretty much the only thing I can think about is what people are going to do next and the new environments I can explore and the new Noam Chomskys I can collect and find. For me personally, the nostalgia levels have been through the roof lately. Half-Life Alex is an amazing game, but also a tragic story of despair set in a dystopian near future. I look forward to our near future where I can hop onto a Source 2 game and just shoot the shit in an open environment like I've done in Source games for years. In other words, we really don't need to wait until Gmod 2 to make some really awesome shit. Even just running around and breaking glass with the body of a mannequin is just satisfying and fun. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, if you want to join the Discord, the permanent link is going to be in the description below. Please like and subscribe if you want to. Seriously, only if you want to. I'm not forcing you. Guys, have a good day. Stay safe out there. And until next time, see you later.